Mic check, one, two, three. Welcome to Straightforward Sports. Today I'm joined with Kevon Ivy, Kendrick Blackshire. Yes, sir. Two monsters from the Duncanville defense. How you boys doing today? You doing good. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad we was able to get this together. We've been trying to get this together for a minute now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. let's just go ahead and jump into it. First, Kendrick, I want to ask you. You got offers from just about every D1 program in the nation. Knowing that you can go to any school, you chose Alabama. What yeah, is bro. it? What was it like talking to Nick Saban, honestly, like the GOAT college coach? Man, uh. So the first time I talked to Nick Saban, I went down there my ninth grade year in the summer with uh, True Buzz. I know many of y'all know him, True Buzz, around DFW area. But I went down there with True Buzz, and he invited me to his office. And then he sat us down. It was me, my mom, and I forgot who else was with us. But it was me and him, and then he was like, uh... So, uh, what do you think about Alabama? And I was like, you know, I love Alabama. I always watched it as a kid. It was one of my dream schools. Uh, and then he was like, well, I want to let you know that you, you are, uh, you're receiving a full ride scholarship to the University of Alabama. Uh, and it was just amazing just to be able to just talk to somebody like that on that type of level. Uh, it was just, it was the greatest. It was, it was good. And that was in ninth grade. You got a full ride from Coach Saban. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Um, and see, you got offered by LSU, and a lot of people thought that you were going to go to LSU. Yeah. What ended up happening with that? Uh, See, my first offer was LSU, so everybody was like, hi. And I, I was teasing LSU a lot. I, I love LSU. Don't get me wrong. I love LSU, but I just feel like, like it was just my best decision to go to Alabama just for just – Everything is like Alabama just overall a better school and a better program and they got so much more and middle linebackers at Alabama they they tend to go to the NFL. So I'd rather go over there and risk it all over there. Hey keep on. So you got offers too. What ultimately led to you signing well committing with UNLV? Really, it was just the position that I was in. You know what I'm saying? I had got hurt uh, last year. And when I got hurt, a lot of schools really stopped talking to me because they thought it was going to be real career-threatening. Uh -huh. So, like, you know, that narrowed down. That helped out actually with the narrowing into college and stuff. So I was actually left with Memphis, Ole Miss, and uh, UNLV. And that was what our schools who was actually wanting me to come and play and not be on no practice squad or whatever. So UNLV, you know, they kept communication rolling and stuff like that. And, and the facility is brand new. And it's top of that, they just had a losing season. So it, when I get there, it's not going to be no favoritism. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're going to rebuild, and I can have the opportunity to be in that rebuild. So that's what really made me choose UNLV. What was the um, the recruitment process for both of you? Uh, my recruitment process, it started extremely early. It felt like I was in high school for so many years. It just felt like I just been in high school for like six years or something. So my process been extremely long, stressful in the beginning. Well, towards the end, really. In the beginning, it was all fun and ain't gotta really worry about nothing. It was that's the exciting part, the beginning, because you just getting all the love and attention you want and. You getting everything you want, and then towards the end, you gotta really make a decision, and you gotta really sit down and and look. This is a four year decision, like this is a investment, like this is a big time decision that you gotta make, and it can it can get stressful. It really can, especially if things ain't going your way. If, if you know, if the school that you really want to go to ain't really pulling for you like that, it could be it could be very very stressful and. Yeah, it could be stressful. My recruiting process didn't really start early because um, first <laughs> year, I was moving, you know what I'm saying? We was doing a whole bunch of moving back and forth and stuff like that, so I didn't really get to 
have a full-on freshman season. And then I didn't play sophomore year because, you know, the UIL stuff when you get to moving around. Yeah. So that stuff happened. My dad was sick and stuff. So I ended up going down there, coming back. What is it? It is what it is. So I had to sit out my sophomore year. It really started junior year uh, that spring. Coach Sam, you know, he, he came to me. He was like, bro, you got to get up out of here. You too cold to be just sitting here. So, yeah, from there, I took that as a turning point. I was like, you know what? I got to. I got to put on these shoes. So, recruiting, it, it started out. It actually started out with uh, with Baylor. And once Baylor, I started talking to Baylor. Me and him went to a junior day in Baylor. Uh -huh. And then, you know, we had we had talked to him and stuff like that. They gave me the offer and all of that. But I just really wasn't into Baylor. Baylor is just not for me. But as, you know, as I played, the season went on. Recruiting kept coming in, coming out. You just narrow it, you narrow it down. It's hard. I ain't gonna lie, especially if you got some schools that you really like. Mm -hmm. Like it's some schools that you really, really like. It, nah, it was schools real. that I was really waiting on to for offer. Real. Me, yeah, no, nah, for real, because it's like you build a bond with these coaches over for real. over the years. I'm, you really do build a bond with these coaches, and just telling this coach, like I'm telling you, like. I done committed to probably like every school that I know. Oh God! I done committed to about every school that I that I talk hey. to. Me. Hey, <laughs> verbal you know, commits don't mean nothing. I done verbally I done committed to half the United States. <laughs> for real, I done probably committed to every school that I know from now. For real, but because you just build a relationship with these people, and you know they genuine. Like you, you really don't know what's genuine, what's really? genuine, but. For the for like the moment is genuine, you feel me? Right. Yeah, because that's what they that's what they want you to feel. Like, of course, the college, these colleges see people like us every day. Come on now. So it's not like they just need us; they want us. But at the same time, we gotta want them. Yeah, see exactly. what I'm saying? It's like he said, it's four years. It's four years of our life that four we years. can that, that you can either spend the four years of your life in somewhere you wanna be, yep. or you can spend four years trying to get out of some place you don't want to be. I like that. So you touched on Sample. You brought him up. Yeah. Uh, obviously, like one of the best high school football coaches no doubt. No doubt. in Shout the nation right now. Shout out to Coach Samples, OG. Um, yeah. How impactful has he been on y'all's football career so far and ah, the recruitment man. process that y'all went through? Football-wise, Samp has been everything to me. To me, Samp has Samp, – really, the whole coaching staff has been everything. They, he robbed me like – New pony, bro. I'm talking about every day. He called both of us. He'd be like, y'all ready? We got practice. He let us know we got this, that, and the other. He very, he's very communicative. Like, he, he he talks to us. He sits us down as a team. He pulls us apart separately and talks to us. But regardless of the fact, if Sam got something to say, we going to hear it. And that's what really made us who we are because we not the type dudes to just sit back and be like, oh, I got something to say, but I ain't going to say it. Yeah, Sam, let us know that if you got something to say, something on your heart, let it out. Yeah, nah, for real. But Sam's been, so he, yeah, that nah, dude. for real. He that he that man for real. But just like, but he ain't been everything because like I done had, you know, I transferred to Duncanville uh -huh. my uh sophomore year towards in the spring. So, but when I got there, he was everything. He made sure I was good. He made sure I was. I was fed all that. Like he didn't. He made sure I didn't go without nothing at all. But nah, he to go for sure. Nah, yeah, real. Okay. So um, we gonna touch on the Bama thing again. So if it was, if you didn't commit with Bama, where else would you be? Uh, oh, oh. I ain't gonna say nothing, bro. Uh, if I didn't go to Bama, I probably would have went to UNLV. <laughs> Easy. No, not the UML. Well, <laughs> not them, but it probably would have been out of Texas and them yeah. and LSU for sure. And probably Auburn, probably. Maybe. But for sure, and them and LSU. Those was the top two that I was like, yeah. Um, and it, that was pouring on me hard at the end. I was I built a great relationship with Coach Santucci. Mm -hmm. That's the linebacker coach up there. Yeah, 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 he was this close from getting me. for real. He was, he was real close. And you, Ooh, Memphis, probably would have went to Memphis. Coach Pope, that's the uh, uh, the D line coach up there. He, yeah, he, I'm talking about, he wanted them as far as he were, he the closest out of all these coaches. Mm -hmm. He the closest that remind me to 
one of the Duncanville coaches because he from Dallas. Oh, yeah. So he from this area. He went to Skyline. So we, like, I really can feel what he be talking about. And I, I don't, like I said, you never know who genuine or not, but oh, facts. he's the one who convinced me the most. What's up? So, um, how special was signing day for y'all? It was everything, just for me, just to see my mama just smiling and know that I'm going somewhere and I'm doing something for myself and I ain't, I ain't in the streets and game banging and robbing and stealing and doing none of that. I'm actually going to school and going to go do something for my life and I'm going to go be something. So it was just everything. She, she, she raised me, a single mother, by herself. It was hard. Uh... But we got through it, and we are we gonna keep going for sure. See, I wonder why I had um, joined in on your live, and I had seen you crying. Yes, and I had always wonder why, you know, why you, I was crying. It, yeah, why I was so emotional nah, it for just, you. It just meant everything to me just to see my mama proud of me. You know, my mama, she that was the first time she ever just said she was just proud of me like that. You know, and just to see her cry, that just made me emotional, really. That's yeah. big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really the same, honestly. Like, because I got little brother and little sister. So I know, like, for them to see me being able to sign them papers and they know that he's secured, like, I'm good. And I know that I can take care of them, my mom and all of them. Mm-hmm. So it's really just, it, it could have been, it was supposed to be way bigger than that. But, you know, due to COVID. Do the like COVID man. stuff get canceled and stuff like that, but it is what it is. It's just really the same thing. My mama, my mama and me, we ain't had the best relationship coming up, but just the fact that I can see her, you know how mamas be on Facebook Live and stuff like that, uh-huh. just all that stuff and everything coming to you is I ain't never had that before. So seeing that and just feeling that is just yeah, great. it, it brings you closer to your to your people. It really you know? do. Really, no cap. But on that same note, they can bring in them fake people too. Yeah. Oh my fake god. Love, that fake love will come in and real, real quick. Oh man, real quick. How? Yeah. Elaborate on that. Like, oh, when did it really start coming oh, in? Oh. When did it really start coming in that you seen like all hey, these bro. snakes and all these people that I weren't even really? Say, I wouldn't even say snakes. Yeah. I wouldn't even say snakes, yeah. bro, because it's not. It's like. You know how the people and stuff go. You know, before you, before I got into football, oh, you know, I, people know me, but it ain't how it is. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. Like, everybody know us because we play football. But before football, if it wasn't for football, we know people wouldn't know us the way they know us now. Yeah. So, when we right. sign them papers, it's different people. Now, it's just different people from different places. At first, it was just people locally. Now, we've known around the globe. Now, we got people who hit us up on Instagram, swearing up and down they yeah. know us. Swearing up and down, we've been talking, swearing up and down, they been all that. But, you know, that's just that's what we expect because we just play football, bro. Yeah. We play football and go to school. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So, that's what we that's expect. It. We expect people to come in and be like, oh, look at him. He not his right age. Look at me. I'm just... This one dude from the street, like it don't matter. Like we do what we do, and we love what we do. Yeah. Period. And, like a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. But that's where we come in, and we wake them up every time we play. Yeah. Nah, for real though. But the fake love, it just ah uh, ah. Uh, it's embarrassing. Sometimes. Yeah. It's just they think we don't know and we don't see it, but we but do, trust. We see all of it. It's very obvious. God, it's very clear But I ain't It is what it is Right mean. We just play football Like it's it bro. It ain't nothing to us <laughs> <laughs> So Fresh out of the Playoffs Man Another It was a successful season But disappointing At the same time I believe that The whole city of Duncanville Was still proud of y'all mm-hmm. As a Person from Duncanville I was still proud to see My former school In you know, make it that far and even be in the mix. Um, how do y'all feel like about that loss to South Lake? You want to go first? No, you can go ahead and go, bro. Uh, nah, I mean, you I go. you go. I go you first. Go. go ahead. All right. So, how I feel about the loss? Uh, I mean, it hurt. Like, 
it hurt bad, but it was nothing that we could do. It was it was a lot. It was just a lot that played a part on that day. Really, it was just the whole day was off. Yeah. The whole energy, uh, and the week prior, like like half of our whole team was hurt. No excuses, no, no excuses though. No excuses though. No excuses because we still came out there. We did what we did. We yeah, played, still play. No excuses. Big facts. Like it was like half of our whole team was hurt. I'm, no, no exaggeration, but. It was just the whole day off. The energy wasn't there. The, the yeah. coaches' speeches wasn't there. It yeah. wasn't hitting right like it used to. Like, it wasn't hitting the same. It just wasn't. It was just the whole day. And then it was just the refs. Oh, um, yeah. We got a we got a holding call. We got we got we got visual <laughs> I just, proof. I just want to try to let <laughs> like we got visual proof <laughs> that we were actually know. messed over, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we got proof. I just want to try to know like we got a holding call on the run play. On the run play, like. How did the defense get a call? It is what it is. A holding call on yeah. our play. We made some mistakes. We True. made some big mistakes. I we made some tackles. mistakes. Yeah, I missed tackles. And I'm shoot. I wasn't at my best. I wasn't playing at my best at all. That game. That game. No excuses. I'm just gonna work yeah. harder to not miss again. It ain't. It happens. It happens to the best of best of us. Got to keep moving and, and keep working. Uh. I feel like we we had a successful season, okay. a good season, just just bringing all the attention to Duncanville and, uh-huh. and all the attention we had. It was, it was something special. It really was something special. And the thing and is, though, it we just, we didn't even really do it for us. We to be honest, we, we really was us us two, me, him, JD, all of us. You we don't need every us. single last one of my teammates. It was it's not about, for us. It was, it was never, never about me. It was all about them and. It was for our, our, It was yeah, all about our little brothers, bro. And building that school to a different level on the mm-hmm. IMG level, on seeing national. You feel me on yeah. national television? Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to bring Duncanville up. Like, yeah, I want to go to Duncanville. That's that's what we I want. seen. That's what we want. Woo, 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 playing at Duncanville. I want to go to Duncanville because yeah. of that. That's that's what I was doing yeah. for. I want I wanted little kids to see me playing linebacker and want to play linebacker. Talk when stuff. was the last time you ever seen somebody playing linebacker and actually influence the, the youth and actually having fun and actually rocking that mud and you know stepping out? That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do all that. And, yeah. You it, know, it was bigger I than football. It. It y'all. Bigger it's than always football. It's always it really been was. bigger than football. We said that we was in summer. Yeah. It really we was, was in the summer. Nah, we really was holding was. the plates in really. the heat, bro. We we was actually out there, and we feel and like. And I wanted to prove. I wanted to prove myself. Yeah. Cause you know I tore my ACL mm-hmm. the year before, and I wanted to prove myself. And I had a lot to prove, and a lot to make, a lot of ground to make up. And I feel like I did. I had a great comeback season. Uh, sure. it was good. I had a good time, you know, but. Yeah, it's it's really that it was game. All about Duncanville, man. Really. Yeah, that game, that South Lake game, really in particular. That game was really just like you said. It just it just didn't feel the same. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we practice hard every single day, but it was a certain cases where some of us couldn't practice hard because, like you said, we were banged up, bro. It's hard, fam. A lot of people don't know that we practice. We practice we're more not. than what we played. Yeah, like, we practice way more. That our we bye week, hard. we practiced our whole we bye week. Hard. We our whole bye week, whole was practice, bye week practice every single day. But the, we had three games canceled this season. We practiced all through them games. We practiced before the season started. We had a um, we had a what we what we do? We had a, we were still in summer conditioning when everybody else was getting ready for their season. So we was banged up from the beginning, and the fact that we still come out and we turn the lights on every game, every time we step out on the field. So that South Lake game, I don't, I don't regret nothing. I, don't regret I feel like all my boys left it out on the field. All my dudes left it on the field. I feel like all my seniors, we really, we ended high school. That's how we did it. That's how we do it. Yeah. We. As far as the season, it didn't end the way we wanted it. Yeah, we wanted that ring, but oh, we uh, wanted really that, ring. Want that ring. But man. as far as the season, yeah, we, I'm proud. I'm, I'm 
completely proud of my whole defense, offense, everybody. We Man. we had people come in, we had people leave, we had people who stuck in this to the finish, bro. Like for stuck real. in it and actually like, grinding, play actually got better. Like our players, I don't know if y'all can tell, but our defense got better as the year went on. Our offense got better Man. as the year went on. I will That's agree what with we that. Do. That's what we Offensively, do. I That's did why see you come to yeah. to develop. Nah, if you want to develop right, you want to come and actually develop, go to Dunkerfield. So, for all you teams that wonder how we do it, Yo. that's how we do it. <laughs> Word. That's how we that's do, how it. do it. Every single day, you get to know the people you playing with. You and then you grow, you grow a bond, bond with them boys. Like, I'm telling you, you grow up. Okay. <laughs> and it's more than football, too. Like, Tell we hang you. outside. Off the field, you whatever we call this each the other. Best this team I ever God. played with, just with the bond, just like I, I can truly say, I love them boys. Like no regardless, count. when I leave high school, when we I still go off to college, y'all up. Wow. I, I'm gonna make sure them boys safe for sure. Like make sure they good. Yeah. But other than that, I say that we really set up. We set the set the way for our youngest. Like. All our youngins getting offers right now. We just, uh, Dale just got Man, Michigan. Michigan you see what I'm saying? Michigan. Like, yeah, Michigan just got Michigan. Yeah. And see, see, that's what I was going to ask y'all, too. Who do y'all think is next up at Duncanville? Dale. Dale Drake Madison. I think Dale Drake Madison. Dale Drake Madison. Uh, I think my little brother, he, he going to be set. Crook, Crook going to be, gonna Crook be, gonna be set. Uh, Crook going to be. McPhail. McPhail going to be set. Donovan McPhail. Uh, he the next middle linebacker coming Quincy. up. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy right? gonna be a dog. That's just oh. on the defense. On the oh offense. Oh God, uh, offense. Uh, early, uh, Jalen Early already. Jaylen finna, early he, already. He finna come down this top ten. Yeah. Big Cam. Cam. Uh, Boo Bam. Boo Bam. He gonna. Hey. Yeah, Boo Bam. Uh, uh, Malachi. Malachi. Malachi Medlock. Yeah. Uh, he. Chris. He finna get his. I think Speed. Malachi. His his finna come up real you. soon. Real soon. Uh, before spring. Before they spring ball start, Malachi gonna have all his offense. Yeah, Melika. I run it back number five. Yeah. Yeah. He cold, bro. He gonna be straight. But as of right now, as the ones on the up, on the way up right now, I say Deldrick. Yeah, Deldrick. He, he gonna be probably like one of the best. Like he gonna safety. be. He gonna remind. He gonna remind you of us. Like uh-huh. just the way he like playing the attention. He gonna bring to yeah. Duncanville that he can bring if he maneuver right in the right way. Right yeah. stuff. It's not gonna it's be gonna like be, no yeah. bad stuff, no trash talking. It's gonna be positive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That energy, you, that energy, everybody want. You know, he gonna, he got that, bro. He, he charismatic for real. He, he about to take the torch. Oh he yeah, for sure. <laughs> he gonna he gonna be a uh, one of the main reasons why that defense next year is gonna be dangerous. Yeah, especially in that back end. Yeah, he gonna especially really step in that up. back. I feel like he gonna step up big time. And then we got Amari Avar. He already up. We ain't really nah, he, he already he, up. He, That's yeah. big time already. <laughs> yeah, he on the. Yeah. Yeah, he he already big time. Yeah. But you know, just you know, we got young dudes. We got freshmen coming in that's cold, man. We actually no, nah, we didn't have no freshmen play, but we had. Some, yes, yes, we did. No, we didn't. We probably did. We probably did. But we had. Some, we got some real cold freshmen on the offense and defense coming up. Just gotta really wait and see. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So the biggest question that I've waiting to ask y'all. And I'm sure everybody in the Metroplex want to hear about it. I know it ain't dead yet either. So how, what what was going through y'all mind and how did y'all feel personally after the South Lake game and how everybody was treating y'all as far as not even just DeSoto. DeSoto was, you know, main part of it. They were a little salty because they lost, but as far as the whole Before Metroplex. Before you even finish your question, why did you say, why, why you said they were salty? Because they lost. Okay. They can't beat us, then they can't worry about us. That's why. That's why. We don't worry about them, especially the schools who talk to us, and they can't beat us. We don't beat them by 60, 50. Yeah. That's stuff that you don't worry about. You just let your football play. If the schools that's talking down, that's already lost, they obviously just want to join the wave. That's just. Yeah, I feel like just how the city responded, uh, I feel like. Um. It could have been a, it could have been a lot better. I feel like the negative energy, it didn't, it didn't have to be that. Yeah. Because like yeah, it was unnecessary. It was very unnecessary. But uh, we 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 went out there and we we tried to represent the DFW right. Dallas and yeah. for y'all to 
Not not everybody. Not but everybody. Yeah, 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 not for everybody. For those but for ones, ones that was yeah, it down. just seemed like everybody. It just felt I like that's not. But that, at the same time, it really make us feel like. It don't make us feel like we're doing something wrong, but it make it seem like we're doing something wrong to y'all. Well, yeah. not to them. You it's like, what yeah. like, what are we doing that got y'all so heated about us winning? Yeah. Nah, for real. But nah, I just feel like it just, it didn't have to be that. That energy, it wasn't, nah, it yeah. wasn't necessary. And, it's pointless. Uh, it could have, I don't know. It, it's, that's, mm-hmm. I really think, that's part of the reason. I think that's part of the reason why the South Lake game went how it went. Yeah. Because we, nah, our fans there. was there. Like our fans we, was there. we didn't. Like, it was just the just, reaction. It yeah. Was just, I didn't. All right. For my personal reaction, um, I felt. I don't know. I just I didn't feel. It put me in a bad mood. You know. Yeah. And it kind of made me like not want to go nowhere. Not be around nobody. Uh, just go to sleep and just <laughs> cause it's like we it's, just, cause that, it's like no it was like nothing good. we could do it was like we tried like, we practiced hard just like every other we school do. we just so happy to have the upper hand when it's time yeah. for us to actually play yeah. it's not our fault bro we got good coaches and they gotta understand like we kids at the end of the day, like things happen. For like, real, we are human beings. Like we are not indestructible. We are not just these people that are just can't be touched. Like we can be touched. Like, yo. Yeah. And like, just because we don't say nothing back, don't mean we don't feel it, bro. Yeah. Like, cause a lot of people come at me because of my situation. You know what happened? Yeah. People come at him because. Of Look at yeah, people coming at, at me. Big. Yeah, they was coming to me after the game talking about how oh, you missed these tackles. I, yes, I did miss them tackles. Y'all acting like I don't, I don't know I missed them tackles. Y'all acting like during bro, the that's game, it like, with us, bro. Y'all don't think during the game I'm like, dang, I, yeah, I'm, I'm missing these tackles. Yes, of course I was like that. It was in my mind. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering the same thing, but I'm also, I'm knowing like my body is not. At its best, I yeah. tore my ACL last year. This is my comeback season. Like, I had like my I, I hurt. Like, <laughs> I know I'm big and I'm like just really big and, and stuff like that and strong. But yeah, because when y'all I say too, stuff like I that, really do, people man. say stuff like that about us it's missing like, tackles and stuff, and yeah. they be dragging it. You really be yeah. making some of us feel like, dang, yeah, we can't miss no tackles. Yeah, and it, it's like they 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 trying to set me on this. This higher standard than exactly. everybody else, and I, yeah. I gotta understand, I'm in high school too. Like, we still, I ain't still even stuff got to even college learned. yet. I ain't even got to college yet. Yeah, and it's like I'm not even at my best yet. So it's like, how can you that's, judge me right now? This is exactly. remember, remember, we all gonna go back. This is my comeback season. Things happen. No excuses though. No excuses I think though. We're no excuses. excuses. No, I'm not making an excuse at all. Cause I'm gonna work hard regardless of. Not even because of y'all. It don't. It, it don't even. That don't got matter. nothing to do with y'all. Not even nobody. Not even my mama. I'm gonna do this because of me. Yeah. I want this because of me. I'm gonna grind. So. And that's regardless. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come out better. So. We gonna be straight at the end. That's how I let me out. Of Big facts. We. Same love y'all showing right now. The same hate y'all showing. Mm-hmm. Don't be worried. Don't be trying to talk to us. Don't be trying to hit none of us. Mm-hmm. When we make it to wherever our destination is. And oh yeah, and then it's like, bags. how can you judge me and you don't even know me? Like, if you really know me, like, I'm really the nicest person you can like ever meet. And like, it just, it's a whole bunch. Like, how can you speak on me like that? Mm-hmm. I say, how can you speak on me when you want to do the stuff that I'm doing? Yeah. So, that's for some of these athletes. I don't thing. try to do nothing but good, nothing but good. So, but it's okay. I nah, love it. That's that's what it comes with. This football, it comes with the the love and the hate. And this is what I asked for at a young age. So nah, for real, it, this what it this this will come with it. This sure, I love it. This sure, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So outside of football, if you weren't playing football, what would, what would you be doing with your life? Uh. If I wasn't playing football, I'd probably uh, hmm. I'd probably hmm. be a fighter. 
Yeah, I'll probably swear. be a UFC fighter every day. Or a every or day. Every yeah. day. For sure. Like, trying I'm, to flip me, bro. Like I'm just a <laughs> little dude. Like, bro. <laughs> y'all don't under, you don't understand, fam. I gotta look. I gotta walk. Yes, so, him. So like, yes, so him. like, Khalid, but ten times worse. <laughs> I'm talking about. I can never be lacking around him. He gonna try and pick me up and flip me, bro. <laughs> and he'll be and he be doing it like it's I like I'm not two fifty something. Like I'm light to him. <laughs> he act like he just not big strong around the house, man. Okay, but I don't do that. <laughs> like, I don't do that. I'm you know I am. I I'm, I'm all jumpy and stuff, but I don't be I'm not like I don't like that wrestling stuff. I wrestle yeah. when it's time to wrestle. <laughs> It ain't never time to rest. <laughs> yes, it is. Nah. Yes, it is. Nah. So, what about you, Kevon? Outside of football, because we know you had to love. Oh love yeah, record. I already, I already know. Is it but, is uh, it dead or are you still you still going with it? Oh uh, no, I'm still with it for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Drop some real quick. You can't. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Look freestyle real quick. Oh, I got you, bro. Um. Ooh, yeah. You said we gotta keep it PG thirteen. So yeah. I, gotta, I can't cuss. Nah, I ain't gonna cuss. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. What you, what you think? You think I should freestyle? You want me to freestyle? Go ahead. All right, yeah, I know you can freestyle. I um, know you can do it. Dang. All right. Nah, I ain't gonna freestyle. I can't freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Cause I'm gonna put some of my stuff that's already written in there, bro. I feel you. Uh, I, I'm gonna end up throwing it in there, and I don't want y'all to hear that, fam. I got some stuff. Go ahead and let them know on. your uh, your name on Apple Music. It's just Ivy, bro. It's Ivy Y. That's all. It's just yeah, it's nothing big. Ivy. It's just Ivy, fam. Cause I don't. I ain't know. Uh, what is it? Little Boom Pad, or whatever they want to call that <laughs> shit, bro. I ain't like that, fam. It's just I Ivy. Yeah. yeah, but it's really it's real exclusive music. I really think it's something good. You know what I'm saying? I'm a I've been slacking, but that was just cause football I'm trying to focus up. So, cause this is how I got to where I am. So that's how I gotta keep it. You know what I mean? So I make sure I don't let what I do outside of football affect what I do in football. So that's why I try and I can't, I keep them close, but I keep them real separate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause. Especially when you're going into D1 Division One programs, they look at that stuff. Yeah. And how I'm how I do, how I maneuver, they can come back and they be like, uh, you know, I seen you do this, that and the other. So we might have to take it. And that's not something that I'm trying to risk. Yeah. I work too hard. He even pushed me too hard. Everybody done pushed me too hard for me to just mess up. So I feel like, yeah, I can freestyle, but I, I I just yeah, I prefer we gonna put save it for off camera situations. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Much love though, no cap. Sound like y'all got a real good brotherhood going though. Nah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> 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 this, this, he garbage. This, 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 <laughs> he garbage, man. Nah, this my brother though. I nah, swear. For real. Cause I I got um I had like I said, bro, I had it hard, no cap. I really had it hard. I was in a bad situation. I was living in a bad situation that was affecting me. Mm-hmm. I would not come to practice. I skip practice. I, I tell the coaches I'm doing something else when I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it took him. Funny story, bro. He actually pulled up to my house where I was staying. He pulled up and he knocked on the door, but he had covered the door, the the thing, mm-hmm. the uh, the peephole. So I'm sitting there like. You know how it is when that stuff happens. So I'm scared. So I came around the back and I seen him. And I was like, man, what is you doing? So he was like, get in the car. We got to go. And I was like, where are we going? He took me to the field. There wasn't nobody there. It wasn't nobody there, bro. So I was like, why are we here? Coach Samples walked out. And he was like, y'all finna work. I'm telling you, it's just... After then, I knew I had somebody on my team. Because I was at yeah. a point where I didn't feel like I didn't have nobody, bro. It, it it actually gets like that. It actually got to a point where I didn't feel like I had anybody in my corner. Yeah, I call people, I call in, but that's once every now and again. Yeah, bro, actually called me like fam. I met him at where well, I'm at the Under Armour camp, mm-hmm. and ever since then, bro has hit me up, called me. Like I said, he took me to the junior day and at Baylor. It's just certain, it's little stuff that you just gotta know. I. Right. 
I got I got somebody on my team. It's a special yeah. thing y'all got over there, Dungeville. No, nah, for real. It's, it's when we say it's more than it's deeper than football. No, nah, it really is. Everybody at Dunkinville not like oh, we got it easy. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. like, we no, don't. bro. We really go through stuff. That's why we play so hard. I'm telling you, this yeah, we football players, but we we got lives. We man. humans. That's man. what people need we to do. We go realize. through stuff. Our other teammate our other teammates they go through they a go lot, through bro. a lot so we got y'all don't know what we got teammates who don't even have parents <laughs> no cap like teammates who who coach like us seniors we they big brothers for real mm-hmm. the coaches them they parents on on another tight level for real mm-hmm. like these coaches pick us up these coaches drop us off these coaches actually help us bro we don't Man. we go so hard for them because they go so hard for, for us, us. <laughs> for real <laughs> and when we don't go hard they let us know <laughs> they let us know yeah when we don't and we, we don't go hard nothing. we and let each it. other know i love them sugar cold nothing they nothing. gonna let you have it they gonna let you if have you not, it if they you're missing tackles you you, <laughs> if you're missing that. tackles you gonna get out <laughs> you gonna get out you gonna get yeah, out you gonna get out no, for real, like seriously, they you missing get, tackles, yeah. they will get you out, no matter who you, you is. Know. Yeah, they from him, you. from him all the way to who, whoever our worst defensive player is. <laughs> Big fat. If Big you facts. if you're not doing what you need to be doing, then yeah. you're gonna get out. It's no, it's no, it's no mercy. It's love, but it's, it's no love, mercy. Yeah, it's love, but it's no mercy. We, it's we no trying. mercy at all. Yeah, but it was a great season. I had fun. <laughs> I, man, this was the best experience I ever had. With just, I thought like with my other team, I thought it was just a brotherhood. But now I really understood what a brotherhood was. Whenever I went, I transferred to Duncanville. I swear, I didn't understand until I went to Duncanville. I, I really understand what a brotherhood is. Duncanville These is boys, family, bro. Yeah, no family. Duncanville is family. We, we really, we really, we got a reason to get up. Cause fam, we in virtual school. Yeah, we, ain't, we don't gotta do this. A lot of people don't have no motivation. Man, but when we wake up and we taste each other, we all taste each other. Yo, let's get to this money. Right after we see that, that's when we get the movie. Boom, it's a mindset thing. That's get when we to get the movie. No, you gotta cap. get to the money. You gotta take care of your business. From whatever yeah. you, whatever lies ahead of you at that moment, you gotta take care of your business. Yeah. But for the kids who watch us, it's more than just football. It's schoolwork too. Get on that. <laughs> Get on that. Stay on it. Be on it. And you won't have to worry about it when you don't have to worry about it. Senior year can be a walkthrough. It can be a walkthrough. Or it can be hell. Yeah. You gotta be you just, just gotta right now, strap up. Right now for me, it's a little stressful. But just because like this is this is new online school. Like nah, for real. everybody everybody's stressing out right now. Over this online school, like it's it is hard. It's harder, but it's gonna be alright. You just gotta be consistent and, and stay on the grind. But it's gonna be alright. Yeah, ask for help if you need it to. Yeah, that's some that's some good advice to the youth. Um, we're gonna go ahead. Thank you, boys.